she printed out the whole registry. It's 16 pages. And I ran out of ink. And it ran. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. I'm here with my mom. Today we are heading to Target. I'm very excited because we've been quarantined and I haven't been able to do my normal Target shopping. I'm really missing home goods and whatnot right now, but today I'm gonna get a little bit of a taste of normalcy uh, because we are going shopping for some nice, cute, heartwarming things that make me happy, which are baby things. Because if you don't know, my older sister Ashley is pregnant. She is about seven weeks out. She's due pretty soon. And we are having to have a virtual baby shower for her since, you know, quarantine and everything. So of course people are able to shop her registry online and ship her gifts straight to her house, which is good. And I've already ordered some stuff. My mom has ordered some stuff, but we also wanted to get some actual in-person gifts that we can actually wrap and bring it to her. Cause my mom will be going there. My mom is the only person going physically to Ashley's house for the baby shower. Everybody else will join in virtually, but my mom wanted to be able to have some actual nicely wrapped gifts to bring when she goes, just so it feels a little bit more normal and more special. So we're pulling up to Target right now to shop for those extra things, gift wrap, and even some little party baby shower decorations and supplies so my mom can bring it and somewhat set something up at her house when she goes. So Ashley has a Target registry. And before we left, my mom <laughs> printed out, she printed out the whole registry. It's 16 pages. And I ran out of ink. And it ran, I was like, why are you printing this out? You know they have an app where you can just scroll through the registry on your phone and see, and it. I'm sure it'll even like separate what's already been purchased, what she still needs, blah, blah, blah. I was like, why didn't you just bring up the app? And she was like, I don't know. I don't know, so I don't think we needed to print all that out and waste all that paper, but I'm bringing up the app. They have a whole separate Target registry app. I'm trying to figure out how to find her list, and I think we should be able to just scroll through and see what else she still needs. Okay, yeah, so I was able to bring it up just through Target.com, actually, and here's her registry. So she is having a baby girl, in case I didn't say that already. So we get to buy it. That's a little cute. Some of the same stuff that I got for Zaya is on here like this giraffe thing so i don't need my list no i don't think we need the physical paper copy of the 16 page list okay we got our masks let's go here we are at target i don't know if you can hear me i got my mask on because we are still very much so in covid protection mode although they have started to open up some stuff in the austin area and they're trying to get back to normal but like not really most people still are walking around with masks on and stuff so we'll try to make this quick and efficient but oh my gosh it's been a while since i've even been able to vlog like a shop with me video at all freshly sanitized shopping cart i hope you can somewhat hear me through this mask remember she's gonna be a summer baby so may not newborn need stuff needs to be summery but then like the six month stuff needs to be winter because you know we don't get winter till still need some in-between stuff too. I really wouldn't buy too much newborn. I would just buy a couple of little newborns and the rest are like in three months because they just grow out of it so fast. It's cute, the dogs. Oh, look at the little socks though. These are cute. Zero to three months or three to six months? Um, you do want like, some fresh, fresh baby socks. <laughs> when the baby's still fresh, they need socks. Thick for baby feet. Thick? Like, like the bathrobe stuff, this. I think it was this one. Is it this? With the little ears on the hood.
Oh, this is cute. What is to that? take pictures for how many months they are. Oh, that is cute. I did a DIY version of this for Zaya. I'm jealous. They did not have this Cloud Island collection back in my day. They had a lot of cute stuff. So I already ordered my big gift that I ordered for her was the baby monitor set. It's one of something like this. One of these whole sets with the video camera that I already ordered for her. And then what did you get this stroller? No, I got the car seat. Car seat. All the big important stuff has already been ordered and shipped to her. So we're just kind of getting like the little clothes and little toys, like the smaller stuff. I'm sure people are gonna be shipping her like diapers and stuff like that. Does she want this grass thing? I never had one of these, but I see everybody always gets them. This is the type of babe I was talking about that actually work. Once they get older and start eating solid food, it catches the food. I use these a lot with Zaya versus the one that you show me like this the it just doesn't go in there like it just slips right off it's like these will actually be useful later on they've got all this like nipple balm body butter soaking salt recovery pads it's crazy how much stuff they come up with in a couple of years. I don't even remember which bottle Zaya ended up liking. Definitely recommend a boppy. If any expectant mothers are watching this, I did a blog post actually a while back when Zaya was a baby about all the baby products that I actually used and that really came in handy. So I can link that in the description box of this video if you guys wanna know like my top recommended items on top of like whatever I'm showing in this video. Definitely recommend a boppy pillow with the covers. Definitely, definitely recommend these Attention types of. All of our wonderful target guests. Anyways, I definitely recommend these types of bibs that catch the food. And Zaya ended up liking these types of bottles. Auntie's bestie. Not everything has to be pink for a girl. Some Daisy Dukes to wear with some of her top, her onesies. Some jeans. Mm. I think we got everything in this whole store already. Okay, so we bought up pretty much every single thing that they have for baby girls, but my friend just had a baby boy. So I did want to look at the boys stuff as well. Where'd that thing go that I saw? They have the stuff all mixed up for some reason, the boys and girls stuff. He's a newborn, he was just born. So I know they probably already have a whole bunch of newborn stuff. I should maybe get like some six month size stuff. Little jeans. Come on now with the suspenders. Oh, I like this one. Little dinosaurs with the little shorts. Now to look for some party supplies and gift wrap to make it seem like more of a normal baby shower. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Welcome, little one. Baby. Sweet baby girl. bought the whole baby section. as you saw from the store. So we have a, literally a whole entire guest bedroom full of stuff. We bought up the entire baby girl section at Target. Plus we have some more stuff that we've been accumulating over time. So real quickly, we're gonna run through most of the stuff that we got and why we got it and whatever. So we tried to buy things that made sense with each age. So newborn, of course you got your onesies. These are from Target, set of four actually. Onesies, polka dots and flowers, really cute colors. I got this one because, you know, I had to get an auntie shirt and then another set of three. It says like a little mouse or something and it says, just like mommy. She should go through quite a few of those because she's gonna be born at the end of June, which means 
July, hot in Texas weather. She's gonna be, you know, needing to dress lightly. But then, you know, if there is like a cool night or she's somewhere where there's air conditioning, we got a couple of little long sleeved ones. This one comes with the matching booties and a little matching hat. And then this one is long pants, but short sleeves, so kind of like in between. But she's a summer baby. So for the newborn stuff, summer stuff. But even though she's in the summer, you always want to have her little feet covered. So we got plenty of little newborn socks. These right here are supposed to be wiggle proof. They have more grip to them. So apparently they don't fall off. But then these are super duper soft, but they tend to slip off more. So it's like, do you want them to stay on or do you want them to be super soft? So we just got both and then some just like little regular ones. Mittens, just in case she's a scratcher, she starts scratching her face. Don't wanna scratch your little face. Zaya had to wear these because she was kind of scratching at first. And these are totally useless, but they're so cute, little unicorn booties. That's more so for a photo shoot opportunity, as well as, <laughs> These are not from Target. These are actually from a like second, like a boutique that we came across at one point, like a little unique little like secondhand kids boutique. I love these so much. They're so cute, but you know, she's not gonna be walking by the time, you know, they just for show, but they're cute. Every newborn needs some little hats, you know, keep their body temperature in, you know, that's what people say. <laughs> But I would not, they had hats that were like six months size. Six months old babies do not be wearing hats, I feel like. So we Unless only got newborn. Yeah. Newborn hats. And these little bows, look at these. I don't know what size they are. It says one size. I don't know if they're gonna be like yeah. too big for newborn, but any at any look at age. These colors. Look at this color. That's like for any age. Just and it matches a lot of the stuff that we got, so. Just a little accessory. So this is like late summer, cause this is zero to three months. So by the time she's three months old, it'll be still kind of warm, but starting to get cool. So still might need some short sleeve stuff. And then- Auntie Extra. <laughs> I had to get her the little denim shorts, the little Daisy Dukes, cause she gonna be born in the summer. She needs some little Daisy Dukes to match with her tops, as well as some nice summery jeans with the little lace and the flowers. But the main point here is that if you're buying stuff for a baby, think about what season they're gonna be born into so you can get long sleeve or short sleeve or winter or summer or whatever. These are all specifically from Ashley's registry and she picked a little pink and white lamb print for the little bathrobe, but with the hoodie and a little matching towel towels. and towel set. So that's all really, really cute. And uh, babies go through a lot of washcloths. So I actually got these at TJ Maxx on clearance, little just gray washcloths for the baby. Also in the bath category, you need your little essentials, the, the sucker thing, nail clippers, comb and brush. This all came in a pack. You actually do end up using this stuff, so that's an essential. This right here <laughs> said it was 12 months, nine to 12 months. It looks small. But I don't believe it. So we're gonna put this in like the three month section for, for summer. This is also from that secondhand boutique, so it wasn't exact with the sizing, but it was just so cute. I think it's actually handmade or something, maybe. This should still work for like summertime. But moving on to the bigger sizes, so for the six month size stuff, it's gonna start getting cooler and you want to be a little bit warmer. So for the pajamas, we got the long sleeve hoodie pajamas. Like November, December, she'll be able to fit in that stuff. So. Depending on what size baby she is. But I'm thinking like end of the year. Which it doesn't really matter. Cool. Even during the summer, Zaya still wears her footy pajamas when it's hot. I mean, it's just good to be cozy no matter what, but along those same lines though, I saw this is from Target too. This is six to nine months, a little fluffy pink varsity jacket. So I made sure to get this in six to nine months so that by the time she's that age, it'll be winter time. Yeah, and I think we got this on clearance too, like early in the summer because yeah. it's uh, winter stuff. And this might not even fit her until like late winter or even after she's a year old, I don't know. But it's too, too cute to pass up. It says 12 to 24 months actually, so. But it's just a hat and mittens. So that's it for the clothes. And now for like the nursery stuff, Ashley picked this really pretty um, Cloud Island, what is this called? Uh, Cloud Island burp cloths, Cloud Island crib sheet, Cloud Island muslin blankets. I don't remember them making this until after Zaya was born, but these are so good because they're super big and you can use them as um, to cover up while you're nursing. You can use them 
to cover up the baby in the summertime. You can swaddle, it's really good for swaddling because they're nice and big and you can wrap the baby up, baby up tightly. And, uh, what there some more? <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, I used these muslin blankets. I used, this was like my most used thing. Just these thin, nice muslin blankets. No crazy fluffy blankets or anything like that. Just these that can basically double as a towel. So we got these because, you know, Ashley wanted them. This is the, the design she wanted. But they're pretty pricey. I mean, they last forever, but they're pretty pricey. And I actually found these muslin blankets at TJ Maxx on clearance. TJ Maxx clearance uh, stroller purse hooker honor or diaper bag hooker honor. Some pacifiers that were also on clearance. Don't sleep on TJ Maxx baby section. Bibs also. And a little teething toy. Oh, and wait, there's more. <laughs> a nice little picture frame to decorate the nursery. Only 350. A nice cutely illustrated baby book. Also from TJ Maxx. And wait, <laughs> there was more clothes that were from TJ Maxx as well. well. All that's three to six months. So summer going into fall. They have some really cute stuff actually. I love it when they have like more, not sophisticated, but like, I don't know how to explain it. Like really nice prints and patterns and soft colors and cute little sets. Like look how cute that pattern is with the little shorts and a matching Headband, that's so cute. And then we have a couple more non-clothing items that we got from Target today. So this was also on her registry. This is a Wubba Nub. It's like a binky toy in one. I highly recommend these bibs. I think I said that earlier. When they start eating solid food, it catches it. These were Zaya's favorite bottles. Every baby is different, so you end up having to try a bunch of bottles, but these were the ones I like, so I thought Ashley could try them. A little thing that looks like grass, but it's to dry your bottle pieces on. And out of curiosity, these are the Honest Diapers. I actually, did I ever even try them? I, I think, think I so. tried them briefly, I so. I but I never know. got into it to where it was like my main diaper brand. I definitely only use like Huggies. I think they're supposed to be super soft for the newborns and they're eco-friendly. They're yeah. hypoallergenic, eco-friendly, secure fit, super soft liner, no latex, no fragrance, and no chlorine processing. So these are like the best of the best for the little newborn booty. We got one box of those. This I just happened to see in the store. I didn't even know they had this at Target. It's a little thing so you can take pictures and say how old they are and it says how many months. So it's like the perfect little layout if you want to do those cute Instagram pictures. And last but not least, I got this at TJ Maxx. It is a ruffled play mat. It's super soft. It feels like cloud and uh, you're you know, you can lay it on the floor or maybe in the playpen and let the baby lie on it and play. And it was on clearance at TJ Maxx in perfect color pink. That is it. And that's it. We got some nice gift wrap stuff, so we're going to nicely wrap up all this stuff so that when my mom brings it to her house for the virtual shower, she'll at least feel like it's somewhat of a normal, you know, situation where you have your gifts and stuff all nicely wrapped. And don't worry, this video is being posted after everything has already happened, so we're not ruining the surprise for Ashley. She won't see this until after the shower, and I won't be going to the shower. My mom is going, I'll be joining in virtually. All right guys, so the wrapping process is underway. Got some boxes that are wrapped up nicely. Cute baby wrapper paper, floral wrapper paper, cute gift bags, it's a girl. These ones from Target, hello little one, and little and lovely. Still got some more stuff that needs to be wrapped up. We bought so much stuff. My mom actually made this little cake topper with her Cricut machine, of course. So she's gonna be bringing this. There will be a cake. Over here, we got some more cricketing stuff going on, little onesies with little details that are gonna be glued on to the onesies. And then these are also Cricut, just little cardstock to use as the tags on the gifts. So I wrote out all this stuff. We're also kind of dividing it up by size so she can have it a little bit more organized. So I wrote out these tags and these tags to label all of the gifts. All right, y'all, here's the final finished spread. All nicely wrapped. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 different packages. And then this is a like a prop for one of the baby shower games that we will be playing virtually. So my mom is going to load up her car with all of this, 
plus some decorations and a cake and everything that she got. And we will be hosting the virtual shower tomorrow. Oh, oh how sweet. That's stuff for me. Then you can go back to the phone. Huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.